for sub-Saharan Sub -Saharan Africa, our biggest drive uh, is to manufacture and send manufactured goods for those countries that are uh, distant from us. So, uh, and quite a, a large number of countries are changing. If you take in Nigeria, for instance, they're having to upgrade um, their power generation uh, system. So for people like that or countries like that, we, we are there to manufacture and, and produce or to repair a plant that they uh, uh, already have. But nearby where we do not have uh, language barriers, for instance, such as we would, uh, whether it's in Namibia, <coughs> where there are plants that uh, we have worked on before long ago or now, when they are wanting to do studies in terms of trying to harness the uh, gas energy that they have, then that's that's the, that's next door to us. It, it it is manageable to do Botswana here. So uh, all of those uh, who are in the uh, Southern African power pool, it, it is it, it that's where we will be operating. But anywhere else outside of those areas, uh, we look to export uh, manufactured goods from from South Africa, right. and we stand a very uh, good. Uh, chance in that there are incentives that the likes of DTI uh, give for, for local production and, and we think this is really the opportunity to uh, increase on these things provided uh, these incentives one, one looks into them. Right. Mr. Bolofo, you have quite a few niche pieces of equipment in this factory. Can you <coughs> maybe give us an overview of your activities here and what projects you have in progress? Look, uh, this this plant really is, it has got all you need to build uh, boilers or, or some uh, such uh, plant. So <clears throat> uh, starting off right at the top end, we've got the Pima machine, which is uh, for uh, welding membranes for uh, uh, boilers. That is an imported piece of kit and th there's probably only two uh, in this country and probably, well, I, 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 I don't think in Southern Africa any other people have it. The next other uh, pride is the induction bending machine, which um, I doubt there is another in the, in the whole continent. Um, we then have the other uh, machines for um, welding uh, onto headers and so forth. It's an automated, automated welding uh, procedures. But as you have seen, we also have quite a lot of machining capability in here. Um, on the other side, we also have these novel technologies such as the explosive welding, which we uh, are again in the country, uh, the only ones with, with that, although it's on, on, on license. Uh, from from the UK, but we have done a whole lot of development uh, in in those technologies. Um, yeah, of course, the uh, cold bending uh, machines that we have CNC machines, which are uh, computerized uh, systems, and therefore we we can handle that for any any of the boilers, and and some of the very intricate. Uh, um, geometries that you require for things like the HP heaters and so forth, which we are in the process of, of, of uh, manufacturing now. 